Hey everyone! I realized that I said that I was going to be filming or uploading like two videos a week or something but I had the most horrible flu and it's been with me for almost two weeks now and you can probably still hear it in my voice. Um, but yeah, to make up for it, I have my very first tutorial today. It's been long awaited for me and I've just haven't figured out a good enough setup but now that Chris has this new camera that I can actually see myself over there in um, I'm hoping it's gonna work out. This is the look I'm gonna be doing. This is what I wore to work today so it's not exactly the freshest makeup right now uh, since I've been wearing it for a few hours. I'll try to zoom in and show you. Oh this is so awesome that I can just zoom in and tell if I'm actually in focus or not. So yeah it's just a simple um, everyday look for me. It's just a nude cat eye winged eyeliner look. So I've got my iced tea and I have prepared thoroughly for this. Um, oh, and as you can tell I did some awesome blues fading into purple in my bangs. And I'm gonna do soon an ombre uh, violet fading just up to the white. Hopefully soon. So you'll probably get to see that because I want to film it. Anyways, Let's get to it. So starting off with a naked eye, I'm going to be um, starting with my base uh, and I'm going to be using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Um, and I'm manually focusing all of this so that's why I can't just like move forward and back and have it auto focus for me. Alright. And I'm just uh, taking out my ring finger and dabbing it in. This is actually a bit too cool for my skin tone but um it does the job. This is the first shadow I'm going to be using. It's by Inglot number 463 and it looks really sparkly on camera but it's actually a matte with just a tiny bit of sparkle um, but the sparkle doesn't really transfer onto your eye. What you can also use if you don't have a matte nude eyeshadow is a matte um, powder foundation. This is by Pure Minerals and it's in blush medium. This one doesn't really match my skin tone as well as this Inglot shadow though. And I'm just taking some of that on my brush and patting it in. And just up to your crease line. The next shadow, which I just gouged a huge hole in, is another Inglot. It's a matte and it's number 360. Um, this one I also use for my brows sometimes. And the brush I used for that is this one by Real Techniques. It is the uh, shading brush, and this one sold separately, like by itself, not in one of her, her sets. I'm also using the same brush for the um, for the brown shadow. And with this brown, you just need a tiny, tiny tap, um, like the tiniest amount, and it will be quite pigmented. And you want to build this one slowly because it's just going to be your transition color. I'm just putting this in my crease line kind of in back and forth windshield wiper motions. I like to bring my crease color right uh, where my, the end of my nostril nose uh, ends, lines up right there. I just find that that's flattering for my eye shape because that's where my natural crease ends anyways. And if I'm going to do a winged liner look like this, I don't bring my shadow color or my crease color all the way um, into the outer corner right there. I just leave it disconnected like that. So that's about as intense as I want this brown color. And now to deepen that crease color even more, I'm going to take, be taking this matte dark brown from Inglot as well, um, number 378. And I'm using the same brush again, because why dirty more than one brush um, if it's going to do the job well? So taking the tiniest, tiny amount, if I can focus that, um, I'm going to be putting it just, just where my crease line is, like without a lot of blending or anything. And this is going to intensify that crease and define it a lot more. And as you can see this one's a bit more sharp and less diffused than this one so I'm just going to even that out a little bit. But If it gets too intense you can always go back with the nude and uh, bring that bring the nude down from your brow bone to um, just kind of erase some of that brown if it gets out of hand. And then I'm going to take the Pixel Point eyeliner brush, which is this one, 
isn't actually that thin, but anyways, it's from Real Techniques as well. It's in the eye kit, the purple kit. Um, I'm going to be taking that dark brown again, which is number 378. And I'm going to bring that just subtly um, on my lower lash line. And I'm going to only bring it to where, if I'm looking straight ahead, just below my pupil right there. Oh, sorry, going out of frame. And this is just going to open up your eyes a bit more and kind of connect the bottom lash line with the top. And now for the tricky part to film, which is the winged liner, I'm using Black Track Fluid Line from MAC, if I can focus that. There we go. My Black Track is actually drying out a tiny bit, so, um,. It may not be as smooth a line as I would enjoy. So the main thing with winged liner is just to practice, honestly, and start thin. So right now I'm just doing the thinnest line as I can across my, um, oh, that's a bit thick. There we go. Across the lash line and as close as you can get to the, to the lash line. Okay, so there's my thin line. That would just be just like a basic shape liner. And then, I like to go from the bottom corner and bring it up towards the end of my, my eyebrow. And then I like to connect from um, somewhere in the middle of this little flick right here. I like to connect that back to, back to my main line. So now that you have this basic shape in the outer corner, you can define that and make it point here and whatnot. And if you accidentally make the point not pointy enough, um, like I just did, um, take a Q-tip with some, some makeup remover and just kind of go along the edges to redefine it. And then, see how you can see that there's like no makeup right there anymore? Um, you can always fix that with your foundation afterwards. I'm just going to go back in with that nude color from Inglot and touch that up a bit. So that's as even as I'm going to get them, I think. Um, I know this one's a bit thicker, but since I did these at two different points of the day, it is a little bit harder to get them perfectly even. So now that that's evened up a little bit, I'm going to reconceal under my eye and do my foundation on this cheek again, and I'll be right back. So for concealer and foundation, I used uh, my Graftobian, um, I don't know if you can read that, but anyways, this is my palette, and it's, it's broken, clearly. And I've gone through both of my colors that suit me best, but now I'm using Graceful Swan mixed with Sunlit, which actually works really well. And for foundation, I just mix that with a little bit of my Mario Badescu AHA Ceramide um, Moisturizer. And I also use that for concealer. And I set that with uh, Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, which I love. I love, love, love this. So now that my concealer and foundation is done, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, curl my lashes and add mascara. The mascara I'm using is Maybelline Turbo Volume. It's not my favorite, but it's the only waterproof mascara I have, and that's what I like best when I am curling my lashes. I was going to stop here with the eyes, but I wanted to add some shimmer to the inner corner and uh, brow highlight. So I'm using NYX Ultra Pearl Pigment Powder, I think. Not sure what shade this is, but it's like their lightest one. It's not the white, but like the light nude. And I'm taking that on the accent brush by Real Techniques. I know it looks super strong right now, but I'm patting that on the inner corner and we'll blend it out in a second. And then patting that also for the brow highlight area. And I'm also going to run that along the lower lash line just a tiny bit. And then just use my ring finger to pat it out. And the eyes are done. For cheeks, I used MAC Mirai Skin Finish in uh, Light Year. If you don't have this, though, I love Melba. Um, it's also a bright peachy coral 
color. It just doesn't have any shimmer, but that's fine. And I'm taking that on a 168 brush. I'm just patting it on the uh, tops of my cheekbones. And kind of sweeping down and out. And for this look, I just wanted to leave my lips nude, so I just used uh, Urban Decay Lip Junkie. It's just a sample um, in Midnight Cowboy. And there you have it, my very first tutorial. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too long because editing this together is going to be a nightmare. So congratulations on making it this far if you've made it through the whole tutorial. Um, I just put on these red lips for fun. But um, yeah, I just forgot to mention that I now have an Instagram and a Twitter, both at Kai the Kiwi. So if you want to follow those, go right on ahead. See you in my next video. Bye.